Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will solve a problem that was asked by a brother that is Shakil Sheikh on the YouTube comment box. The question is like this. In perfect competition, if total cost of any firm is, our total cost function is given as C is equal to 0.3x cube minus 3x square plus 20x plus 15 where x is the quantity. Then find the supply of a firm when the price is less than 12.5 okay so we have to find the supply uh, uh, rather supply curve of the firm okay so how do we solve it and um, as i told you i uh, take only those questions which i can solve uh, by myself i cannot solve all the questions i am just a student of economics in that capacity uh, whatever i can i will uh, share with you okay so coming to the question so what is in a perfectly competitive market what happens exactly a perfectly competitive firm must supply curve is its marginal cost above the minimum of its average variable cost curve you know that if i can draw a graph here what is the supply curve in the perfect uh, competitive market let us say this is our average variable cost curve abc okay let us say this is our marginal cost curve okay that's mc what is our supply curve as you know i will not go into the details into the theory so this part uh, this part of the marginal cost which lies above the average variable cost uh, is actually the supply curve of uh, a perfectly competitive firm okay so let us say we have q here and here we uh, measure uh, mc abc and price okay on this axis so what will be the um, firm supply curve supply curve will be the rising part of the marginal cost curve which is above the minimum of average variable cost okay now what is uh, that means first we need to find the marginal cost so what is marginal cost marginal cost we are being given total cost first i will write the total cost function to make more sense so c is being given 0.3 x cube minus 3 x square plus 20 x plus 15 this is our total cost function now what is our marginal cost is simply the derivative of let me write it properly as we know marginal cost is simply the derivative of total cost with respect to quantity okay dx now what is the derivative of x cube this is 3 x square by power function rule so it becomes 0 0.3 into 3 x square minus we have 3 the derivative of x square is 2x so i will write 2x uh, plus the derivative of x is 1 so we are left with 20 plus the derivative of a constant as you know is 0 or we can write it like this 0.3 into 3 comes 0.9 x square uh, minus 6x plus 20 is our marginal cost okay now what we need to find we also need to find the average variable cost now average variable cost is simply equal to variable cost over uh, quantity that's x what is our variable cost here in the total cost function this very these very terms denote the variable cost that change uh, with the change in the output and this is our fixed cost because it is not the function of uh, the output okay since it's a constant it is a fixed cost so our variable cost will be these very terms so i will write 0 0.3 x cube minus 3x square plus 20x and we divide it by the output that is x and it comes out to be if we x and x gets cancelled here so 0.3 x square is left minus here also x and x will get cancelled so we are left with 3x uh, plus here x and x gets cancelled we are left with 20 okay this is our a v c okay now at this point you can see uh, marginal cost and 
a b c are equal and they are equal at the minimum point of the a b c also okay so there are two conditions marginal cost is equal to a b c and a b c is at its minimum point okay so that means uh, uh, so first i will write here to make it uh, more clear to you so since since marginal cost and a b c are equal at this point are equal okay at minimum of minimum of uh, minimum point of a b c okay a b c then what will uh, what we can do we will just equal marginal cost with average variable cost so we will set set marginal cost is equal to a b c what is our marginal cost we have calculated that is 0.9 x square minus 6x uh, plus 20 is equal to what is our this uh, average variable cost this very function that is 0.3 x square minus 3x plus 20 we just uh, set them equal to each other and when we solve if we transpose this uh, 0.3 x square this will become minus 0.3 x square so this will become 0.9 x square minus 0.3 x square minus we have 6x transposing this will become plus 3x uh, we have plus 20 transposing this will become minus 20 should be equal to 0 now 0.9 x square minus 0.3 x square comes out to be 0.6 x square it is obvious minus 6 x plus 3 x since they are the same terms we can add or subtract to them so we are left with minus 3 x now plus 20 minus 20 is obviously 0 if we just uh, rearrange them 0.6 x square is equal to 3 x or 0.6 Mm, is equal to what we can do or i will write it to make it more uh, simpler if we uh, divide both sides by x so dividing both sides by x here also here also this x x gets cancelled here one x gets cancelled 0.6 x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 3 uh, divided by 0 0.6 and it can be written like this 3 divided by 1 6 divided by 10 which comes out to be 3 divided by 1 into 10 over 6 so 3 ones are 3 twos are 2 ones are 2 fives are so we are left with x is equal to 5 okay so what we can say here where we get x is equal to 5 that means uh, thus uh, this average variable cost is minimized at an output level of five units and corresponding avc what will be the avc corresponding to this five units of output for that we just need to plug the value of uh, x is equal to five in our avc function okay so let me here write here Uh, our avc avc when x is equal to 5 will be equal to what's our avc function here this is 0 0.3 0 0.3 x square that means 5 square okay minus 3 into 5 plus 20 so this is 0 0.3 uh, 5 fives are 25 minus 3 fives are 15 plus 20 okay so what is this this becomes a uh, 3 divided by 10 into 25 minus 15 plus 20 comes out to be plus 5 okay now the, here it is 5 2s are 10 5 5s are 25 3 5s are 15 divided by 2 15 divided by 2 what it comes out to be 15 divided by 2 so this is 7.5 i will write here 7 point let me write it here 7.5 plus 5 which comes out to be 12.5 okay 
so corresponding uh, to the output level of five that is the avc average variable cost is minimized at an output level of five units and our corresponding avc will be so avc will be 12.5 okay 12.5 now what does this mean in a perfectly competitive market what is the price in a perfectly competitive market so i will write here let me draw in a perfectly competitive market price is set equal to minimum of a v c that means minimum of a v c is the price okay now the thermal supply curve is described by the equation as i have told you marginal cost uh, above the minimum of avc is our supply function okay thus our supply curve will be supply curve is our supply curve is uh, described by marginal cost function which is equal to what is our marginal cost function so our supply curve will be this 0 0.9 0 0.9 x square minus 6x plus 20 okay so this is our supply curve when when price is greater or equal to 12.5 okay so uh, you have to remember this uh, as i have told you price is equal to minimum of avc okay so minimum of avc which we calculated was 12.5 so p is equal to 12.5 price is equal to this is also price here price is equal to 12.5 when 5 units of output is produced and our supply function will be this 0 0.5 0 0.9 x square minus 6 x plus uh, 20 i guess it is here yes so whenever our price is greater or equal to 12.5 our some supply function will be this or it will be equal to zero if price is less than 12.5 okay i hope i make myself clear it is very simple a firm will shut down if price is less than 12.5 okay a uh, firm will continue to produce if the price is greater than 12.5 as i told you uh, uh, that our average variable cost is minimized at five units of output and our corresponding avc which we got is 12.5 and it is here price also so as long as price is greater than price is greater than 12.5 it is uh, very easy to comprehend here also as long as price is greater than 12.5 we are at the rising segment of the marginal cost curve which is above the avc as long as the price is less than 12.5 firm will produce zero okay so uh, if p is greater or equal to 12.5 firm will produce on this region if p is uh, less than 12.5 so firm will produce zero unit of output i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you if you like these videos please share and subscribe that's only motivation that makes me go uh, to make more uh, useful stuff for you people thank you very much